Hi, welcome to Complicated to Simple. I'm Robert Seth, and our video today is about how to clean the dust out of your MacBook Pro's cooling system. This will keep it running quieter, it'll make your battery last longer, and it'll make it run a lot cooler on your lap too. So with all that said, let's get started. Okay, so let me just show you how this works. We're going to remove all the screws from this. Be careful while you're doing this because some of the screws are longer than others. So keep track of where you got them from. Maybe lay them out in a pattern that you can get them back in the right way. So anyway, so now you just pry the back up, pull it off. And you can see that this is quite dusty. There's a lot of dust here, just on there. And this is what the inside looks like. Here is the fans that, that are a bit dusty on this one. So we'll take this outside and I'll show you how to blow the dust off of that, where to do that from. So I'll meet you out there. Okay, we've moved the operation outside. We're all set up to blow the dust out of this computer. Please realize as we move on here that you should never touch any of the electrical connections inside of your computer with anything, not your fingers, a screwdriver, or anything. Okay, so here we have the fans. You can see that these are quite dusty and in need of a maintenance cleaning, as are the other components of the cooling system, which include this um, system of fins here, and also there's a little heat pipe that comes out of the inside of the computer too. These are responsible for pulling heat from components inside the computer through these fins and then as the fans turn and draw air through the fins then that heat is dissipated. It works just like your car radiator but you can see that these fins are quite small and it wouldn't take much dust to clog them up. And the same with the fans. There's not a lot of uh, spare cooling capacity here so they need to be kept clean. If they're not kept clean, the fans will have to turn faster and faster to do the same amount of work. This will cause them to make a lot more noise. Your computer will heat up a lot more, thereby heating up your lap a lot more. And your battery power will not last nearly as long either. So it's a real good idea to do this on a regular basis and keep these clean. My favorite tool for cleaning these out is simply a can of compressed air. You can see, when we do this, Quite a bit of dust comes out. You want to do it in spurts and trying not to tip the can upside down or sideways so you don't get liquid coolant blowing anywhere that it shouldn't. So I think we've gotten most of it out. So this one wasn't too bad. We'll spray some of these other areas too. But that should help a lot. Once you get that cleaned out, it tends to keep things a lot cooler. And before we put it back together, I'm going to take a soft cloth and just wipe this part down that was really dusty. Just put the back back on. Put your screws back in. Tighten them down, but not too tight. Just snug. These are very small screws, so you don't want to strip anything as you're putting them back. Another thing to be really careful of is that you don't cross-thread any of these screws. It's really easy to do because they're so small. So if you find yourself turning one in that feels like it's really hard to turn in right from the beginning, just back it back out and go ahead and turn it in again. And You might have to do that a few times to get it in straight, but make sure you do that so you don't strip out any of these holes and then not be able to use that screw in your computer anymore. I shot a little bit of video earlier so you could see what these screws look like. This is one that's an example of one of the longer ones. And again, you want to keep these things straight so you get them back in the right holes. So that's what that one looks like. It's about three quarters of an inch long. And then there's some much shorter ones that are just little tiny things that you really have to keep track of to keep from losing. So there's that. Okay, and we're all done. So we just flip it over and open it up. A 
works just fine and it's you can already tell it's running much quieter like it was when it was brand new instead of this loud um, fan noise that I was getting before I cleaned it out. So there you have it. That's how you clean the dust out of your MacBook Pro. Today's repair was done with a number zero Phillips screwdriver, which I would recommend you get. It's available at any Radio Shack store or a, any hardware store. Uh, but you'll be wanting to do this repair every three to six months to keep your computer in good working order. Um, to, and how often you do it will depend on the conditions that you have in your home. If you have pets or a wood stove or other kinds of dusty conditions, you'll be wanting to do this probably every three months, maybe more. Um, and if you have cleaner conditions, probably every six months will be fine, maybe even longer. But you can tell by when the computer starts making a lot of noise and getting hot and your battery isn't lasting as long, assuming your battery is not running out. Uh, by the way, this repair is considered an Apple allowed repair by the user, so it does not void your warranty by performing this repair. So I think that's all. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.